हाय गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल तो आज के वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे डीई शो असेंड एडुकेट प्रोग्राम के बारे में तो लास्ट ईयर ये प्रोग्राम तीन दिन का मेंटोरशिप प्रोग्राम था बट इस साल इन्होंने इसको एक्सक्लूसिव सिक्स मंथ का मेंटोरशिप प्रोग्राम बनाया है विद लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट फॉर द सिलेक्टेड कैंडिडेट तो एज वी ऑल नो दैट डीई शो इज वेरी पर्टिकुलर विद द क्वालिटी ऑफ कैंडिडेट से हायर तो इस साल भी इन्होंने बहुत ही लिमिटेड नंबर में हायर किया है फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम तो आज की वीडियो में हम डिटेल में बात करेंगे इस प्रोग्राम के बारे में साथ ही साथ हम बात करेंगे इसका सिलेक्शन प्रोसीजर एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया कितने नंबर ऑफ राउंड्स थे किस टाइप के क्वेश्चन थे कौन से टॉपिक पे ज्यादा फोकस किया था और बहुत कुछ तो फॉर दिस वी हैव समीक्षा गर्ग विद अस हु हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम शी इज इन सेकेंड ईयर इन आईजीडीटी डब्ल्यू तो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड हाय समीक्षा हाय सो कैन यू गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रो अबाउट योरसेल्फ Yeah, so I'm Samiksha Garg. I'm currently in my second year doing B.Tech in Information Technology from Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women. I am Disha Asen Educare Fellow 21, and I'm also Women Engineer Scholar 21. Okay, so uh, can you tell a little bit about this program? Like, what is it exactly? Yeah, so it is a six-month-long mentorship program for women who are currently in their second year or third year of a four-year engineering course in computer science or related branches. Okay. So it is a basically a uh, it aims for a whole holistic professional development, and we would be getting a first-hand industry exposure. Okay. So do you practice CP or you know just DSA? So the first part of your question, yes, I do practice CP. I code on code forces and code check more on code forces, uh, and DSC I practice from lead code. And recently, I've also started exploring interview bit. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, what was the selection procedure of this program? How many rounds were there? So yeah, so there was this uh, application round that was the first of it. Then we had a coding round. Then we had two interview round. Although the order was different for second and third year. First, we basically second year students had technical interview first, and then personal interview. And for third year, personal interview first, and then technical interview. Okay. So what was the eligibility criteria for this? You know, who all can apply for this program? So yeah, so you have to be a woman first of all. Then you have to be in a second or third year of a four-year engineering course in computer science related branches. So only computer science, IT, software engineering, and so on. No EC was allowed this time. So it is basically a women program, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you know, how was your first round? Like, uh, like how was your application round? Yeah. So we had to fill out some basic details in that your name and stuff, your CGPA. Of your last year, basically, I filled the CGP of my first sem because I hadn't received my second sem CGP. Then you have to fill out a resume, like you have to give out a resume, and also fill a self nomination. That in that you have to write an essay on declaring, as in why you deserve to be a part of this program. Yeah. So, uh, why do you think you should be a part of this program? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so you know, in the nomination, I wrote like I used a lot of adjectives as to like I'm very determined, I'm very passionate about my profession, and that they won't regret if they choose me. So you basically have to sell yourself. Yeah. yeah and yeah. but it should come from your heart too. Fair enough. So how was your second round? Like the coding round, number of que- number of questions that were asked, along with like um, what was the time limit and all? Yeah. So it was a two-hour-long exam. Uh, we were given first twenty minutes for six MCQs. Uh, five of them were aptitude-based MCQ, mostly on probability, and the last, like sixth one, was based on DSA. That was MCQ two. Then we were given one hour forty minutes for three coding questions, which I felt were quite easy, but to most of them they were not. So I would classify them as between easy and medium, although they were not like four DSA-based questions, like. Lot of like if you have basic knowledge of data structures like set and maps and vectors, you would be good to go. Like no algorithm based questions for us, just basic maths and logic based questions for them. Okay, okay, great. So, uh, like, how was your second? Like, how was your second round? The interview round I'm talking about the technical interview. Yeah, so it was supposed to be a forty-five minute long interview. For me, it was like about an hour and. Five minute long interview in which I was asked five questions. Like five questions, they were variations of most of them. Like two of them were variations of each other. So yeah, the level that I felt was quite higher than the coding round. 
because in that no solid data structure or algorithm based questions were asked but in this the first question that I was asked was about linguist and it was a linguist although he was considerate enough to ask me if i knew about linguist and i knew i answered that question yeah there were algorithm based question like you have to find cardinal like you have to use cardinal algorithm and find the maximum sub at the sum so yeah so it was quite uh, like and yeah so i would classify it as a medium level interview okay so how was your like personal round was it an hr round or some technical questions were also asked in that uh, no technical questions were asked it was a personal interview round but all that was taken by a technical faculty at there so um it was supposed to be 45 minute long round but for me it was just a 20 minute long round and i would just like to quote an incident that happened it was i like reading books so the first question and i mentioned in my introduction as in my hobbies as i like reading books the first question that i was asked was what was the last book that i read so i love reading romance novel a romantic genre basically so i mentioned about how the last book that i read was a romantic novel that i read on this online app so she was really happy about it for like in the past whenever she had asked this question to somebody they would always mention about the core stated books like shark tank or something that has to do you know help them professional so she was happy about it and i mentioned that it's a, in a hobby and i was very honest about it so so there was a connection because of it i thought yeah so first impressions matter i guess and the rest of the questions were all pretty about hypothetical question about being a team player and if you're in situation then what would you do like if somebody's not working you know what would you do and leadership questions That's great. So, uh, like, how? Uh, what are the perks and the benefits of this long mentorship program that are provided to you? Yeah. So, first of all, you would be mentored by top minds in engineering domain. That is, D shop people. Yeah. You could be mentored and tutored um, in technical fields, like be it problem solving, DSA, or software development. But that is not it. We would have sessions on. um like communication skill interview preparation presentation skill so it is basically a whole package and on top top of that we would be also getting a 50k stipend for the whole duration of the program okay so it's entire you know whole holistic experience along with like mentorship and stipend yeah it's really great so uh, can you share some you know, are there any tips you want to share with the people who will be applying next year So I would just say practice, practice, and practice. Like people are able to come up with solution, but most of them are not able to implement it in code. So if you are like practicing it, you would be able to code it like very easily. And on the top of that, if you are like if you have good practice, you would be able to connect problems, like a new problem to the problem that you solved previously. So I would say practice is the key. And at the same time, what I feel that helped me a lot is reading other people code, other people's code. So once I uh once i am done with my code like i have the, it has passed all the test test cases still i read people's code to understand where i could have done better yeah that optimized approach it yeah. right so great so thank you so much samiksha for taking out time and sharing the insights of this program thank you so much for having me So guys that is it for today's video if you find this video helpful make sure you like the video share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel cuz i'll be uploading more such videos programs internship experiences and much more bye bye take care